Warning, this video contains my opinions as to what the future holds for the Half-Life franchise and may contain technical jargon that nobody else understands and viewpoints that you may consider wrong and stupid. Watch at your own risk and please make sure that your comments are of a constructive nature. I don't mind if you disagree with what I say, just back it up with why you think it's wrong and why there won't be a massive dam in Half-Life 3. The Source engine is very effective at running decent looking games at high frame rates. Valve have another step to go before too long in my opinion. Computers are getting more powerful and I think that real time lighting and cube maps will be the first thing to add to the Source 2 engine. Radiosity will also make a feature. Half-Life 2 already renders this, but real time examples will make the levels look far more realistic. The usual stuff will be included such as higher poly counts, more detailed textures and parallax mapping, and hopefully rays of light, but the most interesting bit of technology that they could add would be DMM, Digital Molecular Matter. They made a big thing about the physics in Half-Life 2, and rightfully so. DMM examples are few and far between. The new Indiana Jones and Star Wars games will include it. It allows for deformable terrain. Say you fire a shotgun at the door in Half-Life 2. If it's programmed to break, it will turn into about 5 pieces of wood which look strangely unlike the original door. With DMM, it will splinter and break realistically. It's intensive stuff for your computer to handle, but I can just imagine a grenade bringing half a house down with it as well. Yes, I know that people will attempt to mine their way through levels, but I'm sure that a foot of destructible wool, followed by an invincible wool, won't spoil the game too much. I have seen DMM around for about two years, so by the time Half-Life 3 comes out, every computer in existence should be able to handle it. Combine this with a gravity gun, and I'm sure that you'll see plenty of stupid examples of people crowbarring things until they have a nice serrated edge, then firing them at people with a gravity gun, and you might even be able to dent an oil drum. I don't think that the same can be said about water, which is probably about ten years off. Agia? Is it Agia? are the closest thing yet to the, my dream goal of fluid dynamics, with a real-time demo of an oil vat smashing, pouring black stuff all over the place in real time. Having just been bought by Nvidia, hopefully new cars will be capable of this sort of stuff. Water is horribly difficult to render, with thousands of polygons and millions of simulations per second needed to render a tub of the stuff to a convincing degree of realism. Give it about three years and there should be, hopefully be swimming pools of water. Maybe in about ten years time we'll have enough power to be able to simulate a dam smashing in real time your character hiding in a conveniently placed town just downstream, with water knocking down lesser houses and flooding through others, with you climbing towers and barricading doors to slow its progress down. Go on Half-Life 3, make me happy.